There is a farm with quite the story to tell. As WIMT's Morgan Lentis found out, that rich history landed the Gardner Farmstead with a nomination to be listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Ben Gardner moved his family from their home in Boston with the intention of going south. Their destination was Louisiana, but a small plot of land in the hills of what was then Virginia changed all that. So he built a home, and almost 200 years later, the Gardners are still here. It seems to be the desire of most of our kin that the farm stay intact. The farmstead is now run by another Ben Gardner. He's five generations removed from his ancestor who settled here, but he does his best to keep the memory alive. During our early years, we really wasn't interested too much in the history. It's only after, I guess, we, I retired and come back here that we were became more interested in, pre, in finding out our history and preserving it. In the 1800s, the Gardeners owned more than 10,000 acres and a little more than 30 slaves. In McGoffin County, Morgan Lentis, WYMT Mountain News. Now, the National Park Service will review the farmstead's nomination. And coming up tonight at 6, much more on the farm, including you'll learn more about the role the farm played in the Civil War.